Welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Litz, and this is Fortnite Save the World. And what I want to check out today is weapon leveling. So we did a video yesterday about hero leveling and how to level up your heroes. And what I want to do today is just look at actual weapons. So I'm trying to go back to my roots a little bit on the channel and get some guides out there for the newer players because I think we are going to have a huge influx of, uh, influx of players very, very soon. And I kind of just want to be prepared for that. And what's going to be important for that as well, you guys who are beyond this, you guys who have got into Twine, Candy Valley and things like that, make sure that you comment down below as well to give your advice and tips because i know a lot of people do read through the comments and tips still uh, and your advice is going to be massively massively invaluable to those people so the first thing that i want to start off with there is how to level a weapon the nice simple way to level a weapon so let's just take something simple like um i don't know what haven't we leveled just yet um no not you not you not you uh freedom's herald let's take a dragoon Let's take a Dragoon. So we'll use this. So what we actually do is if you look at this, this is the screen that you'll get when you level up a weapon. So all you do is just go onto the weapon that you want there, click it there, click upgrade and inspect, and then that will take you into the weapon itself. This one's not bad actually. So what you actually want to look at on here is go to level up down here in the bottom right and just click that up. Now it depends on what level you are on how far up you want to actually be leveling this. Now I'm going to take this up to level 10 and I will show you for why. So there at level 10, if you look, these are the materials that I need to make it at level 10 now. So I've got uh, 20 planks, 20 rough mineral powder, I've got active power cells, one of, and I've got some copper that I need to make that there. Now, if I were to level that up again, what that would do is actually change. Because have a look at this chart that I've just put together here, this little handy chart that we've got. So if we just check on this, you can see there, what we've got is in Stonewood, you take your weapons up to level 10. Because you're going to need copper to make your weapons, like you've just seen, uh, you know, on the weapon that we've just got there on the Dragoon. Now, if we take that up to the next level, which I'm going to show you in a second how we can do that. But if we take that up to the next level, then it's going to need, uh, you want to take it up to level 20 because you're going to need silver for that. And you're not going to be able to find that in that area. So if you're actually in Stonewood, you can get some silver, but you're not going to get a huge amount. Now, you might have a friend that's farming at you, but you are going to be relying on somebody else or other people if you take your weapons up much higher. And do you know what? A level 10 weapon in Stonewood is more than ample to actually get you by and get you through missions. You don't have to rush through to get these top end weapons. It doesn't matter. Do you know, it doesn't it doesn't make you any better a person. It's not a status symbol. <laughs> do you know, having a, a 130 grave digger is not a status thing. It's nobody thinks that you're great because you're level 15 or you're level 8, for example, and you're rocking a grave digger. It's just not cool. Everyone knows it's been given to you. It's not yours. Now, if you're stood there in twine next to me with a grave digger or a nocturnal, well, maybe not a nocturnal because you buy them, but you know what I mean. If you stood up, if you stood in the higher levels with a great weapon, or you've got a great weapon at your level, so you're in plankton with a level 20 weapon that you've done it yourself and the rolls are great on it, that's going to impress me. Do you know, that's what's actually going to make you stand out. And that's where, do you know, that's where an experienced player knows a good player from a bad player or from a trader from someone who's actually playing the game, should I say, because they're not all bad players. So if we look at this, then Canny Valley as well. So Canny valid take your weapons up to level 30 for the same reason because you're going to go up to malachite so if we jump onto this then so if you go to confirm level up again and we take that up so once it says max level reach this grays out so you click cancel there and you need to evolve the weapon from there a bit like a pokemon so what you actually do is click on evolve here so you go back look evolve weapon and it's got a list of things that you need there so max level is 10 so we took it up to level 10 that's all good we need some schematic xp pure drops of rain which is why these are important and then weapon designs as well you should have tons of those so click evolve and if you look now over here i need silver and if i were to take that up again to level 30 and evolve it that would become malachite and if i take that up again then i'm going to need the top uh, the top tier stuff that i'm going to need to build that weapon so just be mindful now if this if i gave this gun say if i could give schematics out which you can't but say if i could and this schematic was owned by someone in stonewood this weapon is now hard to make for them they're not going to be able to make it very often when this gun breaks then i'm going to take after taking quite a while out if you like scratching around trying to get different weapons trying to get silver from different places and they're going to have to be using substitute weapons in the meantime and nobody wants that because it's just not fun okay then so there's two ways to actually get the materials that you need so let's just say for example you're in plankton and you need lots of silver now you can just go around the map you know some people do just stick an outlander on uh, the pathfinder is great for this kind of stuff for getting ores and things like that so they might just stick pathfinder jess on there and just go out and farm for uh, you know uh, silver for the next hour two hours what have you and some people are great doing that i hate farming like that 
So the way that I would do it is you go into Expeditions. So if you go into Squads and you go over to the right here to Expeditions, what you actually want to look for is ones that have got this little crate on them. So this little Expedition crate. So it looks like this in the actual game. And what you want to do in there is, I've got a video already on Expeditions. I'll link it down below. But if you do Expeditions, what that'll actually mean is, not with Mega Base Cal, you don't. <laughs> but if you actually put Expeditions going out there, it just means that you've got a great chance of getting more, uh, you know, ores that you need. So things like silver, copper, things like that, the expeditions are definitely, definitely, definitely going to be your friend. Okay, then, guys, I said I did want to keep this short. So what you want to look at there, then just level by area again. So in Stonewood, level 10 to get copper. Plankton, level 20 to get silver. And then Canny Valley, 30 to get Malachi. Anything over that, once you get to Canny Valley, you should have quite a good understanding about what you're doing or a general understanding of how weapons work. You won't need me for this kind of stuff at that point. So you should be good from that. But all you that are in Stonewood and Plankton thinking, and we've all done it, you know, I've done it myself before as well. In fact, you know, if you look in my armory right now, and this was me hitting the button, in the wrong way so it wasn't even a deliberate thing if you look at this one i've been carrying this for ages and what i actually i've only just recently got to twine peaks but i need quartz for that i need slick mechanical parts which you can you know mostly get in twine high-end canny valley you can get some of them uh active power cells i could get but i needed this shadow shard crystal i didn't even want to level it up to be this thing i didn't want it to be uh you know a shadow shard weapon so I'm probably going to change that to a Sunbeam one later on. Not just yet, because I think that'll use up everything that I've got and I don't want to do that. But my point is, everybody does that. You know, at some point, I think most people, even the YouTubers, have actually done that and got it wrong <laughs> at some point. So don't worry if you have done that. It just means, as I said, you're not going to be able to use that weapon straight away. It's just a bit of a kick in the teeth. But if you've got this information to start with, because I wish somebody would have told me earlier on when I was in Stonewood and Plankton, it would just help me an absolute ton. I was running around with, uh, you know, with Malachite weapons in Plankton, and I couldn't make them. So on most of my weapons, I couldn't actually make them because they were greyed out, and I could never get enough Malachite to actually, you know, make the weapons that I needed. So by the time... I realized that, you know, I started, I was actually limited on weapons until I got back into Canny, and then it was like, right, I can use these weapons again now. So hopefully this guy will help somebody, even if it just helps one person, you know, it'll just help somebody not make that mistake of over-leveling the weapons per se. But that's pretty much everything you need to know. So don't forget, guys, don't level your weapons up too far. Make sure you use your expedition squads. Do you know that's it? And don't worry about, you know, getting, you know, trading with people to get these god roll weapons and things like that. Personally, I don't think there's such a thing as like a, a like a god roll weapon because you can make the weapon however you want. A god roll to you might not be a god roll to me. A lot of people like the um, crit damage and crit rating combo, which I totally understand. It's a great combo. I use that on a lot of my weapons, but I've recently been leaning towards, for assault rifles, this is anyway, uh, headshot damage and damage. I actually think that combo works, if you can land enough headshots, actually works extremely well. I'm still testing it at the moment, so don't take that as gospel, but my point is that the god roll for one person might not be a god roll for another person so kind of make the weapons geared around you if you're someone who likes to use um you know if you're someone who likes to use weapons that have got piercing damage on them then you know make you you know go for weapons that have got that if you want to make your weapons if you like affliction on your weapons go for that you might want crowd control and like the snare on your weapons instead then make a weapon for that but the god roll kind of for me is going to be different to the god roll for you there's great rolls there's no such thing as a god roll anymore that's kind of an old thing and what it actually comes from, it's when you used to get rolls, when the rolls were random, you know, a god roll meant you just got luck in, all the right rolls come out. God roll now is a term that people throwing around in Fortnite save the world, it's not even really a thing anymore. So don't really worry too much about the term god roll. Also as well, remember, weapons do scale down. Now they're still going to be powerful. If you've got a 130 grave digger and you're using it in Stonewood, it is going to, you know, it's going to melt. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be fantastic, but it's just not needed and you're not going to get the same amount of satisfaction that you would get if you were making your own weapons and doing it that way. So, but guys, it's totally down to you, as I said. So guys, massive, massive thanks for watching. If you're not part of the Latana army already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And I just want to say a huge, huge thank you for all the support I've been getting. Like, the channel is just going absolutely insane. I just cannot, um, I can't get my head around it when I look at the stats and the figures each morning. Um, and all the comments I get on all the videos, you know, the comments that you guys are making. Be that in Discord, be that here, you know, on the channel or wherever it may be. 
it's just been absolutely mental and i just want to say a massive massive thank you for that and of course to the patreons as well because you guys are actually carrying me at the minute and meaning that i can make this a full-time thing at the minute so you know i can't thank you enough and not just from me you know that's from my entire family you know you're making it so that i can be at home and i can do something that i absolutely love and be with the people that i love as well and you know you can't put a price tag on that so a huge huge thank you for that guys and i will catch you on the next video take care now